The Broncos still to have their first buy of the season. That will come next week ahead of Origin 2. But it's a battle of the superstars here tonight. Kalen Ponga taking on Reese Walsh. We've got Adam Reynolds, another old stager, and Jackson Hastings in the halfback roles as well. The Knights will get us underway. The kickoff, a deep one as well, taken by Corey Oates. And it's Tom Flegler, one of the Queensland Maroons, and plenty of origin reps on duty here tonight, especially for the Broncos. As Billy Walters waits, dummy half. Here's another of them in Payne Haas, of the blue variety, of course, brings it back here. To the edge of the 20, Jordan Ricky, the right-hand side coming in for a strong carry. First up, met there, a good tackle by Daniel Saifidi around the legs and Crossland over the top. Carrigan doing what he does for both the Broncos, Queensland and Australia. Walsh now, back through the middle, saw a gap, steps, goes through them. Ezra Mann pushing up, grabbed there by Ponga. What an opening shot across the bow of the Knights from Reese Walsh. Reynolds will kick towards the corner. A chance out wide for Cobbo. He got a bump there from Brandon Best. The officials saying that was OK, but the Broncos went 100 metres in the opening set. Yeah, an outstanding start for the Broncos. It's a one-two punch. It was Jordan Rickey, which usually Payne has followed up by Pat Carrigan, but it was Jordan Rickey who got the good play of the ball, followed up by Carrigan carry, and then obviously Reese Walsh just jumps on the back of it in the middle part of the field, and the middle part defenders for the Newcastle Knights just couldn't get to their feet quick enough. He's playing only his 51st game, but he's, he's an out-and-out -out superstar of the... NRL in 2023 is Reese Walsh. What an opening set from Brisbane. The Knights they hung on only just as Costum comes out here to Gable to kick from inside the 40 up against his old club. He's been at the Tigers, been at the Broncos. Now at the Knights, there's going to be a, a penalty here for contact on the kicker as well. Gamble. Get the right take there, him, mate. beyond the kick, make and the referees have been very strict on this interpretation. Well, boy, that was almost simultaneous. Yeah, but Pat Carrigan's got to wrap his arms around the kicker. He just clips him. It's a soft penalty, without a doubt, and the coach will be filthy about it, but he's got to wrap his arms in a tackling motion. And as we've seen, especially over the last couple of weekends, in this middle part of the season, They've been tough on it. Gamble at the line, finds Hastings. On his left-hand side, Dylan Lucas filling in for Lachlan Fitzgibbon, who's out with a calf injury. Crossman, a little look over his left shoulder, comes back to Saifiti, though in the middle. Crossman was there. Saifiti tried to link up with him. They've knocked it on. Walters cleans up. Here's a counter-attack. And Mann was pushing up in support. Hastings ends up with it. On you, Chris Butler says no we'll advantage. come back. No advantage there to the Broncos. Yeah, it was a really good play from Newcastle. Knight. He could just, just squeezed his arm free and Crossland could sense it. He just couldn't get the pass. He couldn't get the right nice catch on it. And then they go upfield, but no advantage taken. Newcastle Knights knock on. Broncos. Coming off a win last week, very impressive as they were on the road. In fact, they've gone back to back on the road from Napier in New Zealand where they took down the Warriors. It was a thrilling finish, 26 to 22, and then last week, 20 points to 12 against the Sharks in the Shire. That is impressive form. Their 10 wins and four losses, still to have their first bye of the season as well. And with three buys coming up and a remaining 10 game schedule, they're in great shape to finish somewhere in the top two the all-important top two as Carrigan takes it beyond the 30. yeah they get that top no, two penalties there get a penalty here the Brisbane Broncos just too slow tangled in the rock they get that top two finish they get a home semi-final I think it's around week one and week three if they win big advantage it is as they get a penalty here and we'll have it I want to talk about this playing surface, of course, leading up to Magic Round, but it survived pretty well during Magic Round. I've got to say, it has bounced back pretty nicely. It doesn't seem to be cutting up as it was earlier in the season. Flegler <laughs> works it forward here to play it just outside the Newcastle 30. Not quite five gone. No score as yet. 
Broncos in the night, second game on Super Saturday. Reynolds, here's Walsh, showing it again, fending away from Lucas. Cleaned up by Gamble. He'll plan for Ricky quickly enough. Reynolds, summing things up, tries to fool them and take them on himself. Hastings and Crossman weren't falling for the dummy. Two plays remaining. Walters had a dummy half, takes Haas with him to the advantage line and beyond. Elliott was there. So does Lucas again. Last play. Walsh, rubbers. The kick might be too big. Cobo ever so slightly just missed the kick. Yeah, it's right intention. It's just a little bit too much weight on the kick. He's been so good at that, Reese Walsh, assessing the situation. But already, just five minutes into the game, Reese Walsh, two line breaks already. He's dangerous in the middle part of the field and on the edges. Now Bradman Best jumping out from Dummy Half. We'll go to Jake Duke in a moment to set the scene for us. What he sees from ground level as Hastings comes out to this right-hand side where Leo Thompson is hit. Good tackle there by Kurt Capewell. One of those putting his hand up to only fill a spot for the Queensland Maroons after missing out on a game in the series opener in Adelaide. Crossman to Hastings. Here is Ponga. Return served to what Reese Walsh has opened up with for the Broncos. And Ponga will play it here. Good stop there by Farnworth. Hastings brings Elliott onto it. Playing just his fifth game of the season. And the Knights have one more. Crossman flat there with Saifidi. Gamble kicking off the back of it. Cobbo standing, had a foot on the line. And will bring it back out to the 20. We'll go downstairs to Jake Chip. Good evening, gentlemen. Glorious night here in Brisbane to continue your Super Saturday. Nice dry conditions, and you mentioned the playing surface was. That's because it's been completely restitched this week with a number of big events coming up over the next couple of weeks and months. So they have redone the surface, lends itself to some fast, entertaining football. And what we've seen in the first seven minutes of this game, the Broncos, they are hunting four straight against Newcastle. But Knights coach Adam O'Brien was very positive in the pregame that his team is here to cause an upset. Let's see what they can do. He said they've had their best ever prep since he's been at the Knights. Quite blow for blow with the Broncos so far. Walsh's pass here. The target might have been knocked on by Best. In fact, the referee disagrees and says it's play on. A shift out to the right hand side where Gagai is tackled. No hand there from the Knights in that loose ball. Now Dominic Young will play a 10 on his own side of halfway. Yeah, it was good defence. They put a lot of pressure inside, pressure from Reese Walsh, just makes, made him play early and actually had some contact with his arm and forced the error. Despite some early chances for Brisbane, they stay locked up. No score to this point. Brazil, on the right hand side. Here is Gamble, of no looker for Adam Elliott. Played so few games this year as he passed after the ball of hell because of a troublesome groin he had it last year with the Raiders and again this year at the Knights now best against Katani Staggs two very solidly built centers on the same side of the field last play here from Gamble it goes across to Hastings the kick out wide Young up against Oates that's a good battle isn't it two very tall wingers but there's an escort from the Broncos Herbie Farnworth Trying to help out Corey Oates there illegally, though, says the referee. And you saw him there just taking Dominic Young away from the contest. Yeah, it's such a grey area, the escort. But on, I think he got it right on that time. Bartworth just goes back with the ball. Doesn't give him the clean shot at the catch. You've got to get there early and assume that position. I don't think he did on that occasion. So a second chance for the Knights at this end of the field. With a full set to work with, Crossland goes to Elliott, first man option there, it was flat. And just the Broncos fans, they thought it was forward, Crossland for Hastings, tip on there from Gagai, straight to the touch judge, and down the play. Yeah, when you're a side like Newcastle, you need to make the most of your opportunities down in good field position, and on this occasion, just no communication. Dominic Young was in nice and close. He wasn't on the touchline, and Gagai thought he was out on the touchline, just tipped it on, but a wasted opportunity. It's interesting that Young was as far infield as he was there, almost off the hip. 
Gagai. He was going in. Gagai was thinking he was out there hugging the touch line. And a real one off there from the Knights. The Broncos through Capewell, play it just outside the third. Haas. And with the linchpin in that New South Wales pack, given no injuries here tonight, of course. And haven't there been some for the Origin players in the last week and a bit? Haas says, I didn't knock it on. The referee thought otherwise. They're going to risk an early challenge here. Billy Waters points to Adam Reynolds. And yes, they will challenge. And Joey, we're on tackle three, mate. Off field ruling is a knock on in the right from pain. Given what we just saw, I think they're a fair chance of winning. I agree, Warren. It looks like his right foot gets... They get Payne Haas places the ball on the ground but maintains fingers on the ball. There is no knock on, the challenge is successful. It's an interesting one. Payne has his right foot. The studs get uh, stuck in his office in the uh, Newcastle Knights. Uh, left leg's laces and drags his foot forward, but there was no knock on with his left arm carry, so a good decision. The fingers there in contact with the ball the whole time until a quick overturn by the bunker. So head back across the halfway line. Walter says, Who wants it? As an Ezra man, fair option given what he's done in 2023. Seven tries in 13 games. Plenty of assists as well. Big kick here from Reynolds coming through. Ricky looking for a shot. He hit Marju with everything he had. He gets up smiling. Does the uh, the bodybuilder Greg Marju? But the timing was terrific from Jordan Ricky. Yeah, he just lands it perfectly. Jordan Ricky knows when the ball's coming and just hits him with a bone rattler. But Marju just stands up to it as well. He's built of granite. A body honed in the gym. No matter where he's been in the NRL, Ricky. Good kick, the hang time for Reynolds. Gave Ricky the chance to go down there and put that pressure on the Knights wing. Crossman, Hastings here, outside Middle. the 40. Lofts a kick coming forward. Walsh has to get on his bike. What a catch. That is such an exciting talent. Now Cobo off the back of the grab by Walsh coming across. Elliot there looking for a rip shot on Selwyn Cobo. That was spectacular to watch in itself. Backed himself. Now, ball out the back. Coming from Katoni Staggs. Reynolds is there, had a coins for an offload. He's wrapped up by Lucas around the shoulders. He thought there was high contact, Reynolds. Touch judge says no. Pass to work it forward. Standing there. Eventually taken to ground. Worked by Saifiti around the legs to stay with him. Walters, double pump. Flegler. Shading that left-hand side of the field and Haas out on the right-hand side. And there is man at the line, goes out the back. Capewell out to the corner. Ponga got there and they stopped him. Terrific defence. Dane Gagai underneath saves a try for Newcastle. Joey, over no try, tackle five. We believe it's stripped out by Newcastle in the act of scoring without a grounding. Well, that's a big play from Newcastle Knight because the big winger is hard to stop. He's got a great reach. He just falls short and bounces. But Gagai gets underneath the football, and you're exactly right. He doesn't get it down in the process of trying no to ground it. Gagai just knocks it out. Lead. I'm just looking to see if Dan Gagai steals the ball or it's a loose carry. Given that Oates is trying to reach out and plant the ball down, you would think this would be construed as a... A loose carry there. He has it. I the thought securely on the bicep and just in the, the scramble in goal, loses the ball and prepares to save Dan is on. just trying to hold the ball up. Corey Oates is attempting to struggle to get it out to ground it and lose possession of the ball. We have a decision. And if Corey Oates would have got the ball down, it would have been a try because it wouldn't have been a double movement because momentum made him travel in whilst his arm did touch the, the ground in play. Oh dear. Momentum took him into the in goal. And you're exactly right. At least half of his body was in the in goal by the time the air guy was able to help prize the ball away. As Marju plays it. Crossland here for Young coming in. Help out the forwards. Great hands on the left hand side from the Broncos and Oates that step. Into Kalen Ponga's clutches. He did well, Ponga, and then Gagai did the rest. Thompson here 
bouncing off the contact of Carrigan. Wrapped up by Flegler. We've got a good one here. Plenty of atmosphere, as you would expect. Broncos riding high. Ten wins already. And 14 games to start the season. Oh, Gamble knew. You saw his reaction. But he just didn't play oh, cleanly shot, enough hey, and hey. puts his team back under pressure. Shot yeah, it's such a basic half, skill of the game. Adam, but we still meter. get it wrong at the top level. Just tries to get yeah. a quick play of the ball. Doesn't have a good grip on it. And comes okay, up with an error. Looking at Temp and he's left hand in there, which spoiled things for himself. The Broncos will get things ready at the back of this scrum. Everybody out of the right hand side of the field. Corey Oates, the left winger, packing in for the second row. He had visions at one stage of being a back rower. There he is, packing into the scrum at least in the second row. It means there's numbers out here on the right hand side. Walsh, though, wrapped up. Good tackle by Gamble, who's determined to amends for his error. I think his coaches might have had a vision for him playing back row. I'm not quite sure if Corey did. You're not convinced? No. He was smart at one stage. He was keen to give it a crack. Maybe for a week. He got a couple of minor goes at it. And very quickly, I think, decided the, the wing was his best position. He's out there waiting for a chance. After going so close just moments ago, his Haas. Heads out towards that left-hand side. I'll stop him again. He's so hard to get to ground. He's like Joe Tarpany. Raiders forward, equally hard to drag down. Mam here for Farnworth. Good tackle by Gagai. Comes back to Mam though. And now Flegler heads towards the upright. Has it over the top. A Hail Mary lands with Haas. Reynolds comes to Ricky. They're really testing this Newcastle defence, but they've been good scrambling so far. The Broncos with one more. Walsh feeds it back for Reynolds. Gagai underneath it, flying high. Farnworth got a touch. That will be a knock on. And again, Newcastle find a way to survive. You're exactly right. They find a way to defend it. They actually let Farnworth have a crack at the catch. They get some numbers around the football. It's a big edge over on that with Kate Miller as well. He can get up and jump for a catch. Tall man. Let's come here to Suncorp. The second worst record against any opponent in the NRL is against the Broncos. The only team they've struggled against more in their time in the Premiership is the Dragons. As Ponga here takes it beyond the 40. Gamble comes to Hastings. Get things settled on that right hand side as he takes the carry through Saifiti. Boston for Hastings now. Ponga is out the back. Frizzell is there, man. The number's nicely there, Newcastle, but Frizzell hangs on to it. And the last play in a very narrow short side. Hastings puts it up. Walsh again, giving himself time to come forward on the loop. It's touched there by Farnworth, and that will be a penalty for offside. And on the road. A bit of lip service there for a counter run. Gagai versus Walt. Yeah, very interesting. No love lost between them at the moment, despite state allegiances. And there's the mistake from Walt that New South Wales couldn't produce in Origin 1 in Adelaide. He was rock solid under the high ball. He's there organising. At the back, as Costum from dummy half comes to Hastings. Here is Lucas playing just his second game in the NRL. He's to be back in round three against the Dolphins as Crossland finds Saifidi. Thompson, good right foot step. Strong tackle made by Haas. It had to be as well. Now Elliot, short ball there from dummy half. Nothing doing into the meat of the Broncos' defence. Hastings waits at first receiver. Gamble is there, goes to Gagai, into space, Young scores! They withstood the storm at the other end of the field, they come down, and off the back of chances inside the 20, they eventually find a hole, and it's Dominic Young who scores the first try of the game. Yeah, I agree with you, Warren, it was a nothing set, they hit a couple of lead runners, and then they hit at the post. But they made the Broncos line compressed and then they just shifted out to the right-hand side. It was a beautiful pass 
pacing out the back to Gamble and just a little bit of footwork by Gagai. He puts his big winger away. He's such a try scorer, knows where to be. They mess the first one up, but they don't get this one wrong. Look at the mistake from Maurice Walsh. By the time he's run at speed, he hit the ball, but it came away from him. And off the back of that, they work it inside the 20 and score through the Roosters bound Dominic Young. 13th try for the season up there in the, the race. Leading try scorer and 2023 for the Ken Irvine medal. Marcosivo is on top. Fijian with 15. Next start of the season for Dominic Young. Spent some time out of the, the NRL team but returned in fine form in that 32 all draw in Mudgee against the Seagulls. That, please. <laughs> Thought you might say that. Here is Hastings. Couple of metres in from the touchline. Looking to make it six points to nil. He hits the upright. It was a good strike. But it's the Knights who are off the back of the bye. They're fresh and they're ready. As Adam O'Brien said, they've had their best ever prep and they lead four points to nil, Jake. And it comes through their veteran, Dane Gagai, left out of origin for the first time since 2015, but his numbers are still as strong as ever in game 257 of his career. A great ball there to Dom Young. He's averaging close to 150 metres a game, busting 56 tackles heading into this round of the competition, putting him in inside the top 10 in tackle bus. He beats one there, finds Dom Young, who's got a great record scoring away from McDonald Jones Stadium. That's nine tries in his past six games on the road. So their third foray inside the 20 produces points. But I think it's what they've done at this end of the field defensively. They'll have Adam O'Brien very buoyed by what he's seen in this opening 20. They've survived a number of chances this end of the field. Working the walkie-talkie. They're up for this one tonight. It's the team that has been the, the standard so far in the NRL. Brazil playing Crossman from Dummy Hunt. Comes back to Welly. This is where they've been really good, just getting out of their end and getting to their kick. They just they had a mess up last time when they played the ball, but they've been pretty disciplined. Thompson now, there's a good metres to take it back into Broncos territory. The set after points. And Hastings is there again, and they'll do it over again. They'll test out Walsh immediately. Oates is there, he says, I've got it. He loses it backwards. Boy, he got lucky there, but Walsh is away. Beats Crossman, taken down by Hastings. A couple of nervous Nellies at the back are Walsh and Oates off the kicks of Hastings at the moment. Yeah, well, he's got a result there, Hastings, and he goes down the short side and he just isolates him. They've got an error here. Yeah, they shot go down the short side, here. Hastings, he goes down and then he tries to bring Reese Walsh forward and make him come into contact with a couple of the Newcastle players. On that occasion, his big winger went for the football, but also Reese Walsh nearly away. If he gets the ball to Ezra Mann there, that's try time. But the speed, he's got the step, the ball playing. Not quite carbon copies, both Kalen Ponga and Reese Walsh, but they are two very, very similar fullbacks. Dominic Young is going to feed the scrum. The game really has changed over the decades, hasn't it? Wingers feeding scrums. Wingers packing into the back row of scrums. Unthinkable not that long ago. Here they are. Just outside the 30. Thompson running towards Flegler and Mann. So what they're setting themselves for. Ponga loves this left-hand side in particular. He's waiting for a chance now. Hastings goes to Lucas instead, the first-man option. Elbows and knees he ends up on, plays it quickly, and Crossland is out. Oh, pass finds the ground. He missed his intended target there in Elliott. And it's Thompson who cleans up. Short side. Here's Gamble. Kicking. Frizzell fell over. Gamble can't get there. Get your head. It was touched, though, by a Bronco. And will be a goal line dropout. Yeah, it was a good kick. Frizzell just couldn't find his way through, but it was actually touched by Ezra and Mam. And they'll get another set on their try line. The Knights, it was a nice touch. Just as I said, just took a bit of a ricochet and Frizzell couldn't get through. Adam Reynolds will probably go short here. Stay on him. Stay on him. Which 
she does. Lofts it nicely. It's perfect. Hang time is enormous. Walsh was a chance, but tapped it forward straight to this man, Kalen Ponga, who finds Bradman Best, who loses it. Chris oh, Butler, though, was going to say that it was no, ripped out by the Broncos and not a loose carry against Best. Chance to challenge if they want. I think his powder dry on this occasion is Adam Reynolds. Ooh. I don't think that's a screw. No, that's a loose carry for Let's me. Let's go! In the process of making a tackle, Adam Reynolds is allowed to tack the football. Jordan Kurt, stay out here. But he can't strip it. There's not a stripping half. motion. It's in the process of making a tackle. Interesting. That's it. Okay. risk of losing the challenge. Oh, so. Stay on. The Knights have it here. Break. 10 metres out. Crossland. Hastings. He's Marju. Saying, stop me That's if you up. can. And they were good as well. Reynolds in conjunction there with Jordan Ricky. Daniel Saifiti. Jacob waiting for his chance to come off the bench and be too far away from hitting the field. Crossland comes back to the middle. Here is Elliot taking them on. Flegler around the legs. Haas was over the top. Midway through the set. Thompson. Simple stuff at the moment through the forwards. Makes some space on the edges by pounding the middle. Crossland. First man option is Lucas, who will go close. He's on his back there in the tackle. And they'll play it on the last. Crossland dropping back. What a great ball for Hastings. Walters getting out to put pressure on Gamble. Hastings over his shoulder. Oates will make the catch. No trouble this time around. And is hit high as well. And the Broncos have hung on here in back-to-back -back sets. Yeah, a couple of big seconds there. Poor pass out of dummy half. Goes backwards 20-plus metres. And they have to retreat back. And then there's a poor kick followed by a high shot. Broncos. Easy metres out. Easy opportunity out of their end. Yeah, it's Tyson Frizzell just hanging out the right arm. Penalty sufficient. And here is... Farnworth, one more contact there around the net from Daniel Saifidi. And so they play on. Farnworth still pleading a case. Pass backs his way towards halfway line. Walters waiting. Comes to Carrigan. Lucas couldn't wrap him up. Carrigan dumps it out the back. Pass there under pressure. Finds Walsh, who can't beat Gamble. Goes back to Reynolds. Here's Ricky. Just did a good carry here and someone to take a tackle eventually, which Ricky will do. And he'll play it inside the 40. Three tackles gone. Reynolds for Haas. Man jamming in. Gag eye. His timing and decision making in defense has been good so far in this game. Played a big role. Walters. Walsh back on the inside for Flagler. Gag eye is there again. What a job he's doing at this end of the field. Reynolds. The kick across the field, a chance for Cobbo, but a weave in traffic, makes the catch, dumps it out the back to Staggs, he was thrown in the top by Tyson Gamble. Good work in the end to defuse the kick, but Dane Gagno has back-to-back efforts on the other side of the field, they were big plays. They were, two big plays, two big tackles, but also over on this edge, well, we know Marshu's not going to out-jump him, but he just had a really good read. As soon as he hits, hits the deck, there's good contact on him, and then Gamble comes and helps his teammate and throws him over the sideline. It's a pretty even contest on the other side between Oates and Young. On the near side of the field, Sam Cobbo has a height advantage quite obviously against Greg Marju. He might not be able to bench, out bench press him. He sort of can jump over the top of him if he gets a chance. They give away a penalty here, the Broncos, and the Knights will kick the line from their own 20. Well, Adam Reynolds has kicked to Marju you know, quite often. They want him to catch the football and they want to get to him, and as he catches it, put him on the deck because he's such a powerful ball runner as we see on that occasion he carries in the middle part of the field and it's just so hard to handle and he earns inside a penalty and it's up on the sideline about to come into the game as the first change for Kevin Walters the Knights though a chance here Saifidi loses it and another You're penalty in there too long. Billy Wolves there taking on the mark, a Dad. chance Saifidi taps it and goes at them just back the ten as the Broncos were still arguing the toss with the referee. 
They lead four points to nil. Here is Jacob Saifidi. They play it quickly enough for Crossland as well. So they've stacked numbers. Hastings, Ponga gives it to Best. Good contact from Staggs. Marju digging! And he got there. The strength of Greg Marju. He plows his way in. And the Knights have a second try. It's really smart play from Newcastle Knights. They double plays up around this left-hand side and they go to their power men. They play short. And then from that play of the ball, they go out to Ponga. He goes to Bradman Best and he's so hard to handle. The ball-carrying arm does not touch the ground and he passes on to his winger. Ooh. Ooh. That left elbow. Did he hit the line before the ball hit the deck? There's a bit to look at here. Great work by Best, who broke through the tackle of Staggs. His pass was all OK. And Reynolds saying that he thought perhaps this was a pass off the ground. He was still moving there and breaks through the tackle. That's play on. But did his elbow hit the, hit the sideline? And yes, the bunker now wants to have a further investigation. We'll have a close look at it. Yeah, it wasn't off the ground. It was definitely in the motion of the tackle being made to Bradman Best. Just looking at the left arm of Greg Marzu. I don't like it. The ball touches a touching goal line before it is grounded. We have a decision. Boy, what a reprieve for the Broncos. Marzu going that close. His elbow, no doubt. It's the line before he plants the ball down. 20 metre. They've got them on tilt, though. They have. They're just playing a little bit faster at the moment. They're running harder. And a few little things have gone their way. As Adam Reynolds was protesting back to the referee on the knock-on in the play the ball that he didn't have time to have the captain's challenge. Jacob Roon! As though he was comfortable with the fact that the knock-on hand being called. I mean, it was his hand. He could have easily, very quickly said, I want to challenge that. And that was the skipper, but he elected not to, it would seem. Saying, otherwise, Tyson Frizzell, holding an elbow. Tyson Frizzell gets up holding an elbow. It's been a run of Origin players injured in the last week and a bit since Origin won. And that was concerning for both Knights and Blues fans. Here is Ricky stepping, coming away there from Lucas, who chases hard. Eventually, he's taken down just outside the 20. Play five here, Carrigan for Reynolds. Frizzell came up, extended that left arm. So he's recovered. Reynolds playing it. Set restart was the call, so six more tackles coming up. Early days, but you get the feeling the Broncos really need something here. Walters from dummy half. Carrigan to Reynolds. First man option, Catewell taken down. Good stop there, made by Hastings. Frizzell getting tangled up, slows things down. Walsh from dummy half. Frizzell was there, and will have been square at market importantly. Of course, plays it. Here's Reynolds. Carrigan. We had Marty Taupo pushing up in support. Comes back to Haas. Dispenses with Crossland. Now Mann stepping at the line. Pops it out the back. The Knights, they are rushing out of the line. They're staying square. Staying evenly spaced defensively and doing a great job at the moment. Second tackle though, and this restart and set Carrigan. Good tackle by Kalen Ponga. In the line from Walters, it goes to Reynolds. Wide now, Farnworth stepping back towards the middle. There are no spaces for the Broncos to hit a hole. Walsh looking frustrated. Reynolds goes to Haas for a settler. Well, they work something out for this last play. Walters goes to Reynolds again. The rubber this time, the kick is going to be too big. They look rattled. That's an uncharacteristic kick from Adam Reynolds. Yeah, it sure is, and it's an uncharacteristic missed opportunity from Adam Reynolds as well. When you saw the Kalen Ponga tackle one-on-one -on, -one on the try line, usually Adam Reynolds would recognise that, that he's at marker. He's just made that tackle and kick on the next play. He didn't choose to kick, and they ran it, and then come back to the other side, and he just puts too much weight on his kick, unlike Adam Reynolds. It's been a great defensive effort by Newcastle to this point. Half an hour gone, they lead the Broncos. Four points to nil at Suncorp Stadium. 
Hastings for Ponga. Frizzell at the back. Gamble. Gago had to wait, then does well to almost stay alive. Eventually taken down there by Kurt Capra. Crossed by numbers on the short side here. Four on three. Ponga into the backfield. Farnworth gets to him and saves a try. They're a meter out. Crossed Comes to Hastings. Gamble wanted a kick. Kurt Mann goes to Gagai, and then out on the left-hand side, the pass intercepted by Selwyn Cobbo. Boy, they had them troubled again. Yeah, they had a two-man overlap out on this edge. They just couldn't get the ball to them. Just in the wrong hands of the wrong people at the real important time. Selwyn Cobbo got in the passing lane, did a good job in the end. Dylan Lucas was there looking for one more. Corvo saves the day. The Broncos a shift to him. Help him out of trouble here. Farnworth taking on Gagai. Terrific tackle by Farnworth to save the moment. And Caelan Ponga looks certain to score. Walters sees Costland come out of the line quickly. Links up with Carrigan, but there was good work by Lucas jamming in. Reynolds here. They put it up. Walsh tracking through into the back of one of the ninth defenders. Off Cobbo! to Reynolds, back to Cobbo! Selwyn Cobbo scores against the run of play. A pretty ordinary first kick, but it works out beautifully for Brisbane. Well, if you're a coach and you're talking to young halfbacks or young kickers or just young football players, this is why Adam Reynolds is such a superstar. You've got to be in the picture, you've got to be around where the football is. He puts a kick up, as we watch how they get downfield from the Cobo intercept. But it's a kick, Adam Reynolds, he's not that happy with the kick, but he chases, he decides to get down there, not to sit back and watch it. And he gets down there, he gets a ricochet because he's in and around the pitcher, and then he gets a beautiful pass away for his winger. But that's just want and hunger and desire from the Broncos captain. Now the Newcastle Knights, as good as they've been today, they make a habit of doing exactly what they did there and not contesting kicks. It was a shallow one and they thought, as far out from the try line as it was, best to hang back and just let it go back to the Broncos or go bouncing into touch. But instead, it bounces off the Broncos, straight back to Reynolds and Cobbo, and they did the rest from there. Well, he had no right to get the ball, Adam Reynolds. He just chased his kick. They get a little bit of a ricochet and it bounces into his hands, but he just had to be there. He had to be in that zone. And that's what good players do. So Reynolds, as quickly as that, how things can change. They lead here six points to four, six and a half out from the break. Adam Reynolds bounces back from that bad kick into the end goal. That's his 14th try assist of the season. Sets up Selwyn Cobbo. There's been so much talk about a potential origin recall for Adam Reynolds this week. Even his former coach Wayne Bennett came out and called for his selection, liking it to and liking it to when he recalled Alfie Langer for the decider in 2001. If New South Wales was to go that way, he hasn't played Origin since two games back in 2016 without a win. But he's putting his hand up here, getting this Broncos team in front in the first half in this one. There he is, what a moment that was. One of the great moments in Origin history. 2001 returning to save the day for the Maroons and the embrace between his coach and the halfback who got the job done on a famous occasion. Big game coming up in Origin football at this venue in a week and a half's time. How does it play out? Did the Maroons seal the deal? Blues send it to Sydney for a decider in game three. It's a great time of the season. Great day here on Super Saturday as well. Dragons upsetting the Rabbitohs. What a good one here, a try of peace between the Broncos and the Knights. And off the back of this, the Roosters taking on the Panthers. A kick from inside the 40 to the corner of the field. Ponga tracking back will have to play at it. Chance here to really trap him and ambush the Knights. Good stop by Katoni Staggs. And now there's pressure on Newcastle to bring it away from a corner of the field. Marju 
Puts his body on the line. Bodybuilder on bodybuilder there against Marty to park. That was a great chase and a great tackle by Katani Staggs. But the person directly on the inside of him was his big front rower, Payne Haas, and Pat Carrigan. Played all of this first half and leading the kick chase at this stage. Amazing athletes. Gamble to Ponga. Just like that, they're away again. Bradman Best is with Ponga. He runs towards Walsh. He runs past Reese Walsh. Man on man, superstar on superstar, and it's Ponga who wins this battle. What a piece of play from the Knights fullback. They're back in front. Well, we just spoke about the great kick chase, but then it's just Caelan Ponga. He just does it all himself. He actually gets on the outside of Adam Reynolds, just beats him for speed and the power through his hips. He had some support there, but I don't think he was ever going to use it. He got one-on-one -on -one with the fullback. He's so, got some evasive skills and good spatial awareness. Look, eyes up footy here. A good fan gets rid of Reynolds, and then it's just focus on the next job. Got support, but does he use it or not? Doesn't need to. It's a great side, isn't it? Unbelievable, the way he just ghosts his way through the defensive line and then runs to Walsh. He had support. Lucas on the inside. Best was thereabouts as well. But I think he was always going to take on Reese Walsh and just make a little point for one William Slater who might be watching on. I reckon he might have thought about that moment last night. Get into the clear, one-on-one -on -one with the opposition fullback. I'm not passing. I'm just going to take him on. Exactly what he did. Almost impossible to stop in that situation. Talking about origin as we were, they are flush for fullbacks in this part of the world. Hastings report for point lead. It's 10 points to six. Three and a half out from half time. What a moment from Kalen Ponger. him again get to the outside and as you saw the end on shot he never really looked at his support players he knew best was there but he's like Bradman I've got this the left foot step nobody moves like him in the NRL at full speed and it's great to see given the, the worries the troubles of course with the head knocks earlier in the season another one not that long ago of course he passed the HIA against the Sharks up there at Coffs Harbour. In full flight, no more exciting player in the world of rugby league. Yeah, such an exciting player with the ball, but what I've been really impressed with, just his ability to just jump in. He wants to get contact, he wants to carry the football. He's not shying away from his work. Well, the coach said they were ready for this one. And they backed him up here so far. Kurt Mann, reaching away from Catewell. The Knights rested with the bye last weekend. Here they are against the team, the first team to get the double figures with wins this season. They them 10 to 6. Brazil, back across the halfway line again. These metres have been impressive on these yardage sets off the back of points. Chance for an attacking kick as a result. Crossland comes across to Gamble, who puts it up. Pushing through, Man was thereabouts. The Broncos this time let it bounce, and luckily for them, it's Walsh who ends up with it. And the call of hell comes before he hits the deck. Let's see if there's a Knights ambush here. Walsh wanted the penalty. Cobo comes in to take a carry, and the Knights, if they can force a mistake here, can have the last say of this first half. It's a really interesting tactic from the Knights. They get over on that far side of the field. And even in a 10-metre corridor, they're going to get in that 10-metre corridor for their last, ta last tackle option and their kick. If the Broncos could get some kick pressure on them, really force an error on that kick. So they play the ball here, but look at Walsh. He wants to return serve. And what Caelan Ponga has just done. And they're going head-to-head. -head. It's Reynolds again, tumbling kick this one. Ponga will take the catch. 90 seconds remaining in this first half, so the Knights are a big butt there from Marju on Tapewell. Such a strongly built winger. Like Close to scoring earlier in the half, and now Young off the back of that. They are quite the one-two punch. Shows it. 
in the seat there was Capewell and something on the seat of his pants. Yeah, well, Kurt, you're not on your own. He's done that to plenty of players. Just Kurt, he sets himself too early and then Marshall, just so powerful, just bumps him off, sits him on his backside. Hastings down to Gagai. Looks in, tries to go away on Farnworth, comes back towards the middle, pushing up Jacob Saifidi. Ruled in an offload. Walters realised that, wrapped up the ball. Two plays remaining in their set. Man, they're on the attack again. Comes back to Hastings. Shapes to kick and turns Frizzell back underneath for the moment. I thought he's shaken off that, that left elbow or arm problem he had earlier in the half. Crossland, last play. Hastings will kick. A confrontation between Young and Oates. Oates knocks it on. And it will be Knight's possession here if they can stop the clock in time for at least one play. Maybe a field middle. goal attempt off the scrum win, we'll yeah. see. Well, that's middle, what they should said, do. No, set the middle. Set the middle scrum, the middle. just take the point. Who knows, it could come handy later in this second half. And the siren sounds, the whistle blows, and the referee says you didn't get there to stop the clock in time. That's sloppy from the Newcastle Knights. They had to get there to stop the clock. Hey, well, that's the first thing. I'm not going to cop that again, okay? Yeah, yeah. Cool them down while they're in there. Yeah, yeah, you're the captain. Really I'll give you all the respect in the world, but you've got to control these guys. Yeah, yeah. Jackson Hastings have a, having a bit to say, but the Knights' lack of urgency there has cost them perhaps a point. Yeah, and obviously Hastings had something to say after it, whether he didn't get what he wanted, couldn't get it. So they head to the sheds. They lead 10 points to six. Hastings. His kicking game's been pretty good. Put the back three or four of the Broncos under pressure where Adam Reynolds has probably been a bit 50-50. Could put a couple over the dead ball line. They chase hard on one of his kicks and come up with a, a try assist. But it's a running game. Uh, Reynolds ran four times for 36 metres. But Hastings hasn't taken the line on as yet. Reynolds gets the kick underway. Goes down to Gamble. Give it off to Saifidi who will bring it out. Jacob it is met there by Haas and Carrigan. Alpha O, and they drive him back to the 10. Warren Smith, Shane Flanagan, Jake Duke to bring you this second half. Good to ride on the line tonight for the Knights, especially five wins, one draw, and six losses. The Broncos, they are 10 and 4. Hedrington playing it, fresh man on the field to begin this second half. Good sign that Tyson Frizzell is out there after a knock to his left arm in that first four. Crossland, Kurt Mann, very flat there at the line. 40 year old will play it, 40 metres out, and again, good metres for the Knights from their own end of the field. Hastings puts it up. Oates, a little moment with his hands on a high ball in the first half. Likewise, Reese Walsh. Broncos hung on, and now Walsh it is who jumps out of dummy half and will play it 20 short of the halfway line. Mann comes to Farnworth. Bounces off the tackle there of third man as Walters waits at dummy half. Quick play of the ball. Crossland, don't know that he was there at marker. No call. Take Walters down back on the halfway line. Walsh. He'll go to Hearts. Just takes a full. Good tackle there by Jacob Slipini around the legs. Broncos have one more and Haas was slowly back to his feet. And the limping man kicks in behind the line. Caelan Ponger coming over to the corner. Ponger beats him, steps off the right foot, runs away from Reynolds, links up with Marju. He went so close to scoring a try himself in the first half. And here are the Knights spreading it. Comes away to Lucas. Back rower who can play in the centres as well. And there he was, getting back quickly. And just like that, they're back into Broncos territory. What an opening to this set by Newcastle. Yeah, what a first three plays. They're up to the 40-metre line already. Some forced poor defence from the Brisbane Broncos. Not a good kick chase. And then play one and two, too many metres. Well, certainly out defending the Broncos at the moment. The Knights from their own end. That was great. Here's Gamble. Runs to Reynolds under pressure again. He was beaten by Ponger for a try in the first half. Stangs there made the tackle to save Reynolds. The kick from Hastings goes back to Brandon Best. Kurt Mann has it. Crossland, they want a second kick. He'll supply one as well. And here's Young up against Oates. 
Great grab by Corey Oates up against Young. He gets away. He had support. He had Walsh and Farnworth. And they don't come any quicker than those two, but Corey hung on to it. Yeah, crazy decision. He just couldn't get the pass on it. I think they were just too far away from him. It's about a six-metre pass, but you would expect the big winger to be able to find it. It was a great contest out there. Times his jump perfectly, gets into clear space, looking around, and it probably just all come a little bit too quick for him. He scored a length of the field try last week against the Sharks in a very similar situation, and now here they are inside the 40. What a chance they had there from their own end. Talpo, Reynolds, bypasses man. Not quite as slick as they would like on this right-hand side. Now tonight to this point, stands there. Beat best. No, going backwards. Reynolds puts it in the air. Ricky chasing through. Wants to put pressure on Caelan Ponga, but he makes the catch. And they're just outside his own ten. Yeah, it's the area the Brisbane Broncos need to fix up. You know, they've got a, a, a fantastic player over there in Katoni Stays, and he just can't get any clean ball. At half time, he'd only touched the ball four times for 29 metres as they come up with an error in Newcastle here coming out of their own end. But get some clean ball to Katoni Stakes. Such a dangerous ball run, strong and powerful. But four runs per half is not good enough. Not great service here from Tyson Gamble. That was a sloppy effort of ball. Low and out in front of Jackson Hastings. Now attention to detail there from Tyson Gamble. And puts the Knights under pressure. They turn it over just outside the 20. Coming into this game, Shane, the Broncos, of course, with 10 wins and four losses. Going back to last year, almost the exact same round, they were nine wins and four losses, but finished the season only winning four of their last 11 games to miss the finals and wind up in ninth position. Here they are, same stage as last year, trailing at half time to the Knights. Coming behind here, the court will begin. Like the slumping Broncos, Walsh though, showing it. He might drag them to victory off his own bat. It's Ricky. He takes it inside the 10. Great chance here to at least level the game, if not take the lead, as Walters goes to Haas. Runs straight and hard. Man did well. And got some help from Frizzell. Six again is the call. Reynolds to Walsh. Out ball. A chance. Cobo puts it down. They do hit back. We're locked up, 10 plays, 10. And the mistake from Tyson Gamble really hurts the Knights. It sure does. And it's really smart for the Brisbane Broncos. They had a little bit of a shot at him from the scrum to the right-hand side. They go back to the far post, and it's that man again. He's just so dangerous out the back of shape. And then, as I said, they come back to the middle part of the field. And then let's go there. Reynolds out the back, and then a beautiful pass to Selwyn Cobbo, and he's just too big and strong from that close, and you're not going to stop him from there. And their right hand side certainly looks slick there. Reese Walsh doing what he did for Queensland in Origin 1. The pass to a winger, this man Cobbo, again off the back of a Walsh pass scores. The Blues will be having nightmares about that, watching this combination perform again at this venue, the venue for Origin 2, and Cobbo levels the game at 10 apiece. It's a good game here, and a beauty to come between the Roosters and the Panthers as well. Well, we saw in or Origin how good Selwyn Cobbo can finish, and we just saw on that occasion, just had a little bit too much space, he's too big, he just ducks under a higher tackle, gets down and scores the try, and also we saw how good Reese Walsh is summing up that three-on-two situation. He goes across the face on that occasion of Katani Staggs with a beautiful pass. Reynolds from out wide trying to bend it back. He does. Terrific kick by Adam Reynolds and the Broncos. Jacob back in from it. 12 points to 10.
Reese Walsh is laying on tries for fun in 2023, isn't he? That's 17 try assists in his 13 games. A great ball out here to find Selwyn Cobbo, who has a double tonight. And that will please Kevin Walters. He called the Broncos first half average. They had six errors. He wanted them to clean that up. And they gave away too many penalties, five penalties to two. So he said if they can clean that up, they'll get back into this game as they've done to start this game. Uh, this start is half. And nice coach Adam O'Brien, his message was all about where we give Brisbane the football. So he won't be happy with their start considering that turnover leads straight to Reese Walsh finding Selwyn Cobbo. Yes, and as you saw, second only to the great Cody Walker as far as try assist to this point of the season. So as you sort of form that Reese Walsh has been in for the Broncos. Big reason. Here are 10 wins and four losses. Still with three buyers up their sleeve. They'll get the first of them next week before Origin 2. And it just goes to show that error out of dummy half. It wasn't a forced error. The opposition didn't force it. It was just a poor pass from dummy half to Hastings' feet. It just turns the football over in good field position, and you can't do it to a Broncos team. Chasing points. Now, Wallace from inside the 40. Angling a kick across the field. It had the angle as well. Ponga realised that. They got there in a hurry to make sure and retain possession and work it away from out near the sideline inside their own 30. The game began with Reese Walsh making a clean bust through the Newcastle line. Kalen Ponga responded when he went through and scored for the Knights. Walsh with a try assist. It shaped as a tremendous battle between the two young fullbacks. It's worth the price of admission and then some tonight to see Walsh go head to head with Ponga. And Croker here is on the field now for the Knights. Just across the halfway line from Crossland. He goes to Mann. Hastings coming out of the line to Tony Staggs. Rattles the cage of Tyson Gamble. Ponga now with the kick from first receiver. Puts it up, Walsh standing underneath it, no pressure on him, he knew that. Trying to get away there from Lucas and Best. So hard to wrap up one on one. And he's threatening to get away again and put them on the front foot to begin this set. Bobo it is, who goes beyond the 10, driven sideways. We go back to you, Jake. We've just seen Tyson Frizzell head up the, into the tunnel for the Newcastle Knights. You can see him there uh, being escorted by their medical staff. We're being told it's tightness in the neck. He will be assessed in the sheds to see if he can continue in this game. But obviously big ramifications for the Knights in this one and then potentially for New South Wales selection in the coming days. Well, thanks for that, Jake. We saw him with that left arm issue in the first half. Now, if this is related to what we saw, find out more. As Reynolds kicks from inside the 40, of a banana shape on that one off the outside of the boot at the angle but Marju was back there waiting for it and the winner brings it back here just inside his own 30 Brendan Piacura on deck will be out there in a moment and will have company as Kevin Mullers looks to make a double change that one might have been opened up we thought he might have been opened up in the contact there in that tackle as Lucas brings it back towards the halfway line Hastings, players in motion here, one of them was Croker on this right-hand side of the field. Playing for Crossland, good service there for Mann. And holds off Ricky, gets it away to Lucas, who steps away from Reynolds. Played here, inside the 40, with one more remaining. Crossland to the short side, Ponga will put it up. We'll test out Reese Walsh here, Bradman Best coming through. Wraps him up, secure grab from Walsh on the bomb, and the Broncos do it over again from almost the exact same piece of the field. Yeah, he learned from the first half where he had to come forward and he had to jump, and the ball bounced off his chest on that occasion. Gets there nice and early, hands up, beautiful take. After he catches the football, then there's another job for the opposite to kick chase because he got so sharp feet and he's always looking to get meters. Worth here, just inside the 40. Walsh off the back of making the catch. There again, pushing up through the middle, looking for a chance. Toby Hetherington is out there now for Payne Haas. And he's had a change along with Brendan Piacura coming on for the Broncos. And Reynolds finds the line. Carrigan and Haas come from the field. Make a note of the time in the 52nd minute, the 28 minutes remaining. 
two huge forwards for the Broncos come from the field. We'll see how they handle it while they're not out there. Yeah, exactly. Crane has his workload is amazing. 16 carries for 145 metres. He just seems to do it week after week. Defensively, he's so sound. No missed tackles. Dan Gagon here with the ball. Fantastic first half defensively from him. Another try and Corey has but certain to score in the 13th minute of the game. We'll put the Broncos on the ball first. Right to able to respond on after that. Here's Ponger again coming out of the line quickly. Stags a clean miss. And now they'll put him under pressure again. Quick hands. Best for Marju. Stags was there. Walsh stops Marju. The ball on the deck. Cobo cleans up. Did he knock it backwards? Play on at the moment. And that will be the call. Broncos possession. Oh, big tackle, Reese Walsh. On a huge man running down that touchline. Marju, we saw for Tony Stags. I think he was had a shot at him. And it was Reese Walsh just comes across. It was a tackle that had to be made. Yeah, this Katoni Staggs couldn't get him down. Reese Walsh puts his head in the wrong position, but gets him down. Big tackle. There is Peter Cura, who is a very promising young forward. He's 21 years of age, playing his fifth game in the NRL here tonight. He's formed through the middle part of this season. He's been tremendous for the Broncos. Kick go down off the five there. Dominic Young and that really shot down the short side. That was a great heads-up piece of play between Ponga and Gamble, realising that Stags had come out of the line on the previous play. They realised that he wasn't back in position defensively, and they went straight to his side. And they almost produced a try for Marge. Well, Selwyn Cobo has always stepped back as well. He doesn't really... He's not connected to his centre partner in Stags, so they like their chances down that left-hand side, the Newcastle Knights are well and truly in this. Here's a chance, Young. Gets away there from the tackle of Ezra Man. Runs to Walsh. Back on the inside. Matt Kruger. He'll dive in to score. Kruger scores for Newcastle. They get expansive with the ball once again. And they catch out the Broncos on the edge of the field. They don't waste the chance. And Kruger puts the Knights back in front. They've just been competing really, really hard, and they get some good field position here off a good kick return. And they go down to this edge, and it's a beautiful play again, and they just strip him the, the numbers. It's Hastings going to the line. He hasn't taken the line on, but he's passing in his service. He goes across the face of a couple. Gagai, quick hands, and puts his big winger away. And then there's some support looming as Ezra Mann comes across. Just can't make the tackle, and the support comes on the inside from Croker, and he was like he was on the treadmill foot there for a little bit, but he had enough speed to get there. I think it's only 20 metres or 10 metres out as Capewell comes across, but he's fast enough, big enough and strong enough to get the, across to the try line. Adam O'Brien riding him home, enjoying it tonight. Well, they backed him up. Made a big call, didn't he, before the game in our pre-game show. He said it was the best preparation for a game we've had since he joined the Newcastle Knights as coach, and they've played like it. Well, they're just competing hard, and they're getting in, getting themselves into some good field position, and that man, as we see on the screen, as I said, he hasn't run the football, but his pass selection and getting to the right people has been spot on. Jackson Hastings making a four-point lead, trying to fade it back in. Well, it stays out to the left-hand side, but the Knights lead the Broncos 14 to 12. Good work by Dominic Young. And Matt Kroger pushing up in support, staying alive. Good catch and pass as well from Dan Gago. What a game he's had. Telling everybody, if there's any issues with the centres, I'm ready to go for Queensland at short notice. Kroger is pumped and the Knights are back in front. The emotional roller coaster that is Super Saturday matched, of course, by Origin in 2023. You can see the best women play in Townsville. Still tickets available for Game 2. That one coming up in a week and a half's time. And then, of course, Game 3 for Origin in Sydney at Accor Stadium. Go to nrl.com slash tickets. The Knights. Job they've done so far, but we still have almost 24 
minutes remaining. Lead by two as Crossland comes across here with Jack Featherington. Standing there before taken down by Flegler. And also Capewell. Piacura out on his left hand side. Capewell crossing over to the right edge. Change made. The rotation of the forwards. Jacob Saifidi once again goes to the halfway line. He'll play it here on the last. Hastings to kick. And he goes down towards Oates. Oates lets him make the catch. And Big Corey brings it back, but he met Jack Hetherington and also Matt Croker. They stop him in a hurry. Now Farnworth hopping his way back across the 20. Daniel Saifidi and Leo Thompson about to come back on. So the Knights about to bring their starting forwards back. Well, the starting forwards, Carrigan and Haas, are off the field at the moment for the Broncos. Yeah, well, both clubs use their interchange a little bit different. Uh, the Broncos, they say, push those two leading front rowers out as long as they can. They play the first, you know, about 50 minutes to 60 minutes, and they get a little bit of a spell and then finish where the Newcastle Knights just get them on for the first 20 and back on for the last 20. Went on to deep kick here. Went to down a metre out from the line. Having a half-pie lunge with the leg to try and get it back to the goal line for a 20-metre restart. But well, he brings it back to the 20 anyway as Marju moves straight and stopped there by Hetherington. Flegler and Ricky around the legs. And the Knights with a statement victory in their sights here this evening. Hagel. And there's Jacob Saifini who goes back to the bench. Rather back on deck and takes a carry right here. And Daniel will play it. Crossland. A set restart there, doesn't get one, in fact he does. Clapping and the appealing to Phoenix Crossland draws a penalty from the Broncos. And here's some pressure, Ponga going at them. Just towards the tackle there of Walters. They're just outside the 20. Hastings. Underneath here for Daniel Saifidi. What a chance here for Newcastle. Crossland, they stack numbers on this right-hand side. Man for Hastings, bypasses Ponga. Young for the corner. Walsh is there, but he can't stop Dominic Young. The Knights get them again on this right-hand side, and they make it a six-point lead. The Broncos are rocking and reeling. We put it down to J Jackson Hastings. It's a beautiful play. He just comes out the back. Have a look at that pass across the face of Caelan Ponga. He's the bait. Everyone goes for Caelan Ponga. They think he's getting the ball out the back, but it goes across the face to Dane Gagai, and he comes up with a beautiful soft touch to put his winger away once again. But Jackson Hastings out the back. This pass here is the money ball across the face. Of Kalen Ponga onto Gagai, beautiful touch, winger on time in the corner. They're not going to stop him there. Well done, Newcastle Knights. They know where their strengths are. And they go to him. Adam O'Brien is up again. Boy, Reese Walsh put his body on the line there against a very large human, hitting with all his might. And Young was able to get it down in time to make it 18. Points to 12. One now shy with two tries tonight. Not only behind Mike Acebo. We'll see him in action against the Bulldogs. Monday, Monday in two days' time against the Bulldogs. And what will be a big occasion between the two Sydney rivals. We'll see that, of course, live right here on Fox League. Hastings kicked in the sideline to make it an eight-point lead. the Broncos fans ringing around Suncorp Stadium. Stop them well tonight. This one gets the flags in the air. What a kick. And he knew it as well. He knew how big a moment that was. Watch it again. With his right-hand side, they go to Gagai. He gives it away to Dominic Young. That was in the first half. And then this one in the second half. Hastings bypasses Pong. A great catch and pass. And Young does the rest. Yeah, it's, it's really well coached and really well executed. They've obviously identified the, the, the disconnect from their centre and the winger on this side, but the execution of the play, it's okay to practice it, but in, 
high speed moments of these games to get it done properly. Well, some really big moments there. Obviously, the pass from Hastings, the tip on from Gagai, the timing of Dom Young, just perfect. So, Crossland to Thompson. Now, with an eight point lead. That's the next scoring play massive in this game. Crossland to way to Croker. Tries in this second half. Quick succession. The Knights, as you just saw on our graphic, Croker scoring in the 55th. Young getting across just five minutes later. Now, Hastings. Four tackles gone here in this yardage set to play just inside their 40. Their metres tonight from their own end. They've worked the ball away from trouble well. Just on their own side of halfway through Tonga, not a deep one. They put some pressure here on Cobo, who goes up above everybody. Lots some more depth on that kick, Newcastle. Oh, Cobo! Cobo makes an error in the play the ball, and they are just a little bit off tonight, the Broncos. Yeah, they sure are, but it's the pressure that the Newcastle Knights are applying to them. Newcastle Knights, attention to detail, getting up the field and kicking into corners and just seeing if the opposition want to do the same thing. And on this occasion, Selwyn Cobo, no attention to detail in his play the ball. And the Newcastle Knights in great field position again. They left. 28 remaining. It's a 10 minute break. Van Haas and Carrigan straight back onto the field. And we reach I8 here for Kobe Hetherington. Outside the 20, Crossland finds Croker. Straight right towards Haas and Flegler. Hastings back on the inside. The Knights fans in attendance. Let us end up the chat. There's a few of them here as well. Man, five metres out. Hastings. Nice first man there to Croker. They are set out the back as well. Here grabs a leg, we play it there. Hastings, first man option for Saifidi. Testing out both Pedro and also Tyson Smoothie, who's out there now for the Broncos. Crossman comes deep to Hastings. Ponga, well, there's a collision there between Reynolds and also Lucas. The Broncos end up with it, but they oh, will get a penalty for the, the obstruction of Dylan Lucas clattering into the half. Yeah, and a good decision for the referee. They just get a little bit wrong over there on the left-hand side. Newcastle Knights came upon them. They're thinking about going into run shape with Bradman Best, and then he all of a sudden decides to go to kick. This is a man the Broncos need to get more football, clean football, not offset starts. Get into good field position, get him running onto the ball. Tony Staggs. Tyson Brazil back on the bench. That is likely good news for the Newcastle Knights, unless he's just there to be a spectator for the remainder of the game. We've been told was that he is uh, available if needed, Tyson Frizzell, the old neck tightness, but hopefully that'll be right in weeks to come. Thank you, Jake. Here is Walsh linking with Corey Oates on this left-hand side of the field. From dummy half, he finds Ezra Mann. His heart's charging hard. Saw a gap, almost went between Gagai and Crossland. Two plays remaining in this set. The Broncos looking to hit back. Flegler. Met there by Lucas, stands in the tackle. Saifidi comes across and takes him to ground. And they have one more. It's over to Adam Reynolds. Smoothie goes from dummy half. That wasn't the play for a rookie dummy half. He had to find the halfback. Yeah, he had to find Adam Reynolds. He was in position to get their last play option, whether it was going to be a kick or whether it was going to go to run shape. And young Hooker just jumps out to the right-hand side comes up with the wrong option. First game of the Brisbane Broncos. Played four games with Storm back in 2001. And right that moment over again, Leo Thompson. Chance to get a repeat set, if not score there, the Broncos. Instead, the Knights work it away. We've got 15 remaining. Heading up, of course, to a flash. Game three of three tonight on Super Saturday. The Roosters taking on the Panthers. That's next. Make sure you stay with us.
for that one as Hastings kicks from inside his 40. The bat three very deep there. Walsh making the catch. He'll take it himself and slips past Gamble. Gets a legs tackle. Puts them on the front foot here. Reynolds for Corey Oates. Good stop there though. Made by Croker and Tyson Frizzell is about to return to the field of play. Farnworth leaving. He finds Cobbo pushing in. Bit of a roll on here for the Broncos suddenly. Midway through the set. Comes back to Flegler. Trying to keep it going. Draws in three. And taking the ground foul through Kurt Mann, who's there. Smoothie waits. Finds Reynolds here. Passes to himself. Walsh back on the inside. Therese Mann. He sets home for the line. Thomas stops him just inside the 10. They've got one more play. Smoothie this time will find Reynolds. Over the top he goes to Corey Oates. He puts a kick in. Ponga will play at it. Steps past Reynolds and brings it back. Big play by Kalen Ponga. Yeah, what a play, Kalen Ponga. Defensively sound and then just tracks back for the kick. Knows who's going to go. The best kicker is in Reynolds. Goes to the winger, Corey Oates. He gets a kick away. Reynolds chases hard. But the footwork of Kalen Ponga gets his side out of trouble. Bradman Best. Still inside their own 20. Three tackles gone. Again, as hard as they've done it all night to work it away from their own end. Minimal game there for Dan Saifiti. They're playing for Crossland. Thompson. He'll run up the sleeves. Got some good metres there. Have to take them beyond the danger zone. And Hastings here down the short time. Kicks from inside the 40. The kick will bounce and Walsh had to play at that. Otherwise, it was going to be a 40-20. He tapped it in field. Such poise and confidence from the 20-year-old fullback, and the Broncos begin inside their 20. Yeah, we heard from Jake Duke saying that Tyson Frizzell, Frizzell was available if needed. Well, there's two valuable competition points available, and he's needed. He's a rep player. He needs to be out there. He is out there again on this right-hand side now. As they turn the ball over, the change was made. Reynolds. Comes out here to Farnworth. The defence of the Knights. And at half of the point goes, the prize and opening. Farnworth here, slow play the ball. And as Haas the back end of the set with metres again. He keeps doing what he does. Up towards 170 metres already for the game. And we've still got 12 remaining. Reynolds puts it in the air. Standing underneath it, Brandon Best was there. It's in the leg. He was back there and he has knocked it on. It's in the leg. Just a little grab. He was back it's there for Marju. And they're going to challenge. He thinks he hung on to it. Well, I think he's bobbled it. I think he's bobbled it into the leg of the defender. Into the Broncos defender. We're on tackle one. Kick chase has been cleared as onside. It would be crucial this. It was an awkward looking grab and went straight between the arms. Just looking to see if Bradman Best loses possession into a Broncos player. It looked like it made contact well, with the thigh of Jordan that's Ricky. That's the whole point of this thing, yeah? It goes through his grip, but he still catches it in between his legs. But whether he had possession and it touches the opposition. If he, if he touches it here with his left arm in particular, I think he does. Yeah. Yeah. The the best the ball. knocks the ball forward and hits Jordan Ricky, constituting a knock on. The challenge is unsuccessful. He's done a good That's job, Jordan Ricky, timing his kick Adam. chase. It's the second time tonight that he's chased down really hard. And as the, the opposition player has been in a position to catch a football, he's been there and had really good contact. And on this occasion, forcing an error. Let's go, guys. So best finds himself back there for a coach. A catch rather in the first situation for him in the game makes a mistake and the Broncos will have it from just outside the 10. It's down, it's good. Got a better chance than this. Close the gap. Stay on. This unbelievable Break. final 10 minutes is Ezra Man. Just behind with Walsh and Reynolds to score a try a couple of sets ago. Smoothie waits a dummy half. Carrigan here, to his left, charges towards the uprights. And they've got options either side. Reynolds out here. Pass goes to ground again, couldn't find Walsh. 
Staggs picks it up and comes away, gets away from Crossland, brings it back midfield. They'll play it 10 out. Haas finds Walsh. He goes to Pankura. What a time to score your first try in the NRL. Reese Walsh gets in behind them and gives us this grandstand finish. Yeah, well done, Reese Walsh. Some great vision. He just gets a feel that Newcastle Knights are rushing up on the outside. Yeah, it's Hastings, and he just comes off his left foot. But he knows if they're rushing up on the outside, there's going to be some space. And he just finds his rampaging running back rower in the space. But that's beautiful anticipation and just smarts from Reese Walsh. A pass in between two people, just right on the money. Big play, Reese Walsh. Well, the timing wasn't there on the right-hand side earlier in the set, but it certainly was as they came back to the left-hand side. And Walsh, yes, Reese Walsh was there again. The display from him tonight and Kalen Ponga. It's been unbelievable football. And from right in front, Adam Reynolds adds the two points to make it 20 points to 18. 10 to go. What a finish this is, Jake. Yeah, absolutely. Great finish there. Great ball from Reese Walsh. He finds young Brendan Piancourt, who's come off the bench in the last couple of weeks, and he gets his first NRL try there to get the Broncos within striking distance with 10 to go. And don't forget, after this one, we've got a big clash between the Panthers and the Roosters. No, Nathan Cleary for the Panthers. How will they handle the next six weeks? They've got a big test up against the Chooks, who are looking to get going in season 2023. That they have. Great moment and for your cure up and for the Cook Islands, the World Cup, the back end of last season. And now, here are the Broncos. They've been out of sorts tonight. And they've played by the Knights for much of the game, but they're here alive and trailing by just two. Oates with the catch. He'll bring it back himself. Right just inside the 20. It's Hucks. He's been enormous, it's coming back on. An offload here for Reynolds. Flegler off the back of that. Takes it forward. Good work, though, by Lucas. And also Gamble will stay alive. And make the stop by Forrest Flegler back wait, on the mark. Wait, wait! To play here, Gamble says. Gotcha. Back there, sir. Well, just to have Flegler, Carrigan and Haas back onto the field for this final 10 minutes is just an enormous bonus for the Broncos. Reynolds. Floating the link up here with Mann. Farnworth back on the inside, testing out the defence of Jackson Hastings. Four plays gone. We're back almost at the 40. Here's Carrigan going to Haas. Boy, that was a confident ball. And no looker for Carrigan. Great hands from Haas. Carrigan might be cramping up in the backfield. Reynolds puts it in the air. This time it's Marju who's back there. We can hear the footsteps, but the Broncos all run past it. And Marju makes a catch to bring it back to almost the 30. Yeah, big catch. And as you said, the Broncos players went to pass the football. As we watched Newcastle just bring it off the 30 metre line. They'll get an opportunity here. They'll have plenty of time if they can just bait you possession, get some good field position. I think they need to be in the Broncos 40 metre line to get some points. They're not going to go long, long distances to score. Broncos got lucky there on that kick chase. None of them, including Reese Walsh, had eyes for the ball. They were just down there to make a tackle only. Marjorie could have put a defender and been away. But Thompson it is. Look at the Broncos territory. Eight minutes from full time. Hastings puts it in the air. He's kicked and kicked well tonight. Oates is there again. Leaves the ground. Starts in familiar territory just inside the 20. Man from dummy half. Broncos looking for the 11th win of the season. The Knights have push their way back inside the top eight. Bobo. And a statement here tonight showing how good they can be, Newcastle. Flegler. He's back with intent. Halfway line. Smoothie, still there at dummy half of Walters. Carrigan, man, now for Farnworth. They slid well. Hastings and Frizzell linking up with Gagai. They make the tackle here on the last. Halfway line, out near the sideline. Carrigan a shift for Reynolds. 
Finds the belly of the ball. A floater. No spin. Tough one to take. Ponga did marvellously well. What a shame for both fullbacks tonight. They've been outstanding under the high ball. They've come up with some errors here and there. But every time they, there's danger when they catch a football, bring it back, and then when they get into good field position, both the set up tries for their opposition. Oh, sorry, for their team. And Saifidi for Newcastle. Wants it back towards the halfway line. That was an awful one to try and catch. Terrific work by Kalen Ponga. Stanford Saifidi, also out there now at the back end of the game in tandem with his partner and brother as Frizzell bounces away from Flegler. Looks to be okay. Good test of the neck right there. Crossland. Hastings. He's been clean down the short side tonight. Pressure here on Oates. He beats Thompson though to the ball. Brings it back. Steps past two. Taken down by Gagai. Good play for Walsh. They want to shift it immediately. Out to Staggs. Early ball here. He beats Best. He beats another. Staggs is away. Best comes again. Takes him down just into Newcastle territory from Reynolds to Walsh. He goes wide. Farnworth. Newcastle have recovered. Farnworth, though, stopped by Frizzell. Gets an offload away. Piacure is here again. He runs past Jacob Saifidi. Thompson got him from behind. Three tackles gone. The Broncos surging. Here is Walsh. Goes back to the middle. He finds Reynolds. A long shift. Reynolds kicks off the legs there and best. It went backwards. And Newcastle have it. Some great scramble defence by Newcastle Knights. That was a big tackle made up field by Bradman Bess. Tony Staggs got away from him, but he just kept chasing and chasing. And he finally got him, and then back down this end of the field, he just gets in the defensive line. Adam Reynolds puts in a kick, comes off Bradman Bess, and they gain possession. But scramble defence is getting the Newcastle Knights. They did it in the first half, they did it again there. Rare poor one from Adam Reynolds. We saw one went dead in the first half. That one a bit of a shank off the side of the boot. We're looking for Cobbo in the corner. Jacob Saifidi. Right up there as Polly kicks. And a bounce down here to watch. He's used up some gas. But here he is taking them on. Pongo is there. Superstar on superstar again. Walsh saw him and said, stop me, Kalen, if you can. You've got my jumper. I want it back. Oh, I don't love it. Two superstars of the game just going out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You rarely see that. Here is Hetherington standing. The Broncos haven't got much left, but they're finding something. Here's Carrigan. Can they grab perhaps the knockout blow? Hetherington, he's fresh, offloads to Reynolds! Man is there! He beat Ponga! Back to Reynolds! Oh boy, what a try! Reynolds and man! Yes, man! Reynolds scores and the Broncos have the lead! Well, that is just class, class, class. Adam Reynolds, Ezra Mann. The Brisbane Broncos just never gave up. It's a beautiful little play through the middle part of the field. Offload, offload. He goes through the big fell. That's a beautiful pass off the deck to Adam Reynolds. And then have a go at this pass here. Oh, that's silky. That is beautiful stuff. Ezra Mann knew he wasn't going to get to the try line as Kobe Hetherington goes through. That's a beautiful pass as well, as I said. But have a look at this head on. This silky pass around the back. Oh, that's ridiculous. Not quite a no-looker, but so difficult to pull off. Reynolds looking for support. He found his Robin, and it went straight back to Batman. Look at that, under the outstretched arm of Bradman Best. Reynolds jubilant before he put the ball down, and watching in the background one of the greats, the great Alfie, Langer watching on and there has been talk in the build-up to this game about Reynolds and Mann being the modern version of Langer and Walters and didn't they 
put a, a statement to that uh, claim right there. Well, those two you're talking about were superstars, and they did it week in, week out for long periods of time. Adam Reynolds probably at the back end of his career as a man at the start of his career, but that was just beautiful to watch. Outstanding. Reynolds adds two points. We've still got time for more drama in this game. But Carrigan took a chance right there. Hetherington, who went from the field for an HIA, was back. Supplied that ball for Reynolds. Bradman best. He thought he had Reynolds. He thought he had man. He thought he might have blocked the pass back to Reynolds. But the seven and the six. They give the Broncos a four-point lead. Yeah, we look at that seven and the six, and it was outstanding. But Kobe Hetherington, that's a big, big pass and a big play. Pushes through the middle part of the field. to come up with the awareness and know that he's got support there as he's falling to the ground. Chasing points, big play. Good play from Corey Oates on the short restart as well. Lots a chance there going to Dominic Young. Oates beat him to the punch. A couple of NBA centres at the tip-off. The Broncos have it. Two minutes remaining. The Knights can get the ball back. They will have a chance. Hetherington taking his time. Walsh was out, snatched that out of the air. And the pass was going towards Flegler. And Walsh wants to be everywhere. Carrigan now. Ian Haas came back in the nick of time. The Knights have taken the lead. They've hit back. Reynolds. He kicks. He finds touch. It'll take a few seconds off the clock. It won't be a scrum, of course. I'll bring it back to play the ball here, but they'll force the Knights to go pretty much the length of the field. It's a smart kick. Obviously, they don't get Caelan Bon Connor bringing the ball back or Marju bringing it back on a kick chase line. They get a set, play the ball in the middle part of the field. They get their numbers right straight away. Now they've got to defend up for a whole set. Young begins the set. Pretty short of the halfway line. 60 seconds remaining. Gamble for Hastings. They've caught them on the edges a number of times in this game. They like their chances again in this last ditch effort. Thompson works it across the halfway line. Stuck there by Carrigan and also Flegler. Needing at least four points. From Saifidi to Hastings, here's Gamble over the top. Young, Corey Oates is jamming in off the wing. And went over the top of him. Last play here for Newcastle. Last chance saloon. It's Hastings who puts it up. Ponga coming through. Cobo flying, loses the ball. It was accidental offside. And if they can stop the clock here, the Knights will get at least one play. Adam O'Brien can't run up. They do stop the clock. Seven seconds remaining, and they'll have one chance. He's back in his seat. As nervous as a kid. What has Caelan Ponga got here? One play, that's all they've got. It might be Ponga versus Walsh for one last time. Walsh trying to work out which side Ponga is going to go. He was left, now he's gone back to the right. He was... Jalen Gamble, it comes back to Hastings, he runs to Reynolds, is he Crossland is there, he yeah. goes back to Ponga, looks to his right hand side, does a 360, beats Flegler, now from Elliott, it goes to Best, he goes to the line, back in the inside, Crossland, Crossland is denied, the Broncos hang on, a desperate last play, it's a penalty though. The Broncos ruled offside from the scrum. You got the option to replay. We will do it over again. On the line. They've got the option to retake the Eight. scrum again. But they're going to take the Eight. penalty tap. On the line. Oh, that's a big call. Oh, would have liked the scrum Stop. from the middle of the field and give it to Ponga. Okay. They tap it. Here's Hastings. Gamble. Gagai is there. Nothing doing. So he comes back to Hastings. He'll kick. Charge down by Smoothie. So Feedy flips it to Gagai. There are numbers left here for the Knights. Ponga, though, hurt it infield by Flegler. 
Thompson, man Stop got up. there. Here's Gamble, walking their way backwards. Gagai, he tried to kick. That'll be the game this time. Brisbane, hang on. What relief for the Broncos. They've snatched one at the death through the magic of Reynolds and Mann. An incredible game right here on Fox League's Super Saturday. The superstar is spent. What a battle it was between Walsh and Ponga. And at full time, the Broncos have beaten the Knights 24 points to 20.